tub. Oh, 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 oh I'm so You sorry. hit him! <laughs> sorry, ah! to, oh, His my god. One ear's gosh. already dead. You're going to kill the other one. All so right, anyways, here we go. Here we go. Welcome, everybody. Back welcome, welcome, to, uh, everybody. What's our podcast called again? From both sides. With, Introducing. No, no, no. Oh, with sorry. a, or I should say, where a. Okay. Zoomer. Zoomer. And. And a boomer. Boomer. It, it, did you guys? A, did you guys have like an actual theme for your like generation? Yeah, or your farts, age? farts. We let lots of farts. I wanted to. Just, that's one of these days we wanted to. <laughs> I want to talk about how farts start and everything. Not tonight, no. Okay. Anyways, all right. Topic of the day. Topic of the day. My turn this time. Your turn. You've you been, lead it all because you've been picking them quite a lot lately. Yeah, this was yours, so mm-hmm. I'm gonna let you run with this one. Okay, so. Topic of the day today. And there's a difference between us, so that's from the <laughs> both sides are. Of course there is. Topic of the day, though, that I think He's would give a lot, of introspect <laughs> to, <laughs> a lot of introspect to uh, some of the history of us wow. is talking about dreams and um, kind of like how we got them, uh, ones that we've given up on, uh, new ones that we've developed from it, uh, maybe some regret built upon them, and... Um, kind of just maybe being happy with the ones that we do have currently or the ones that we are aspiring to get to. Yeah. I think it would be a That'd be fun a good topic. one to put into it, too. Mm-hmm. Carolina. Carolina. <laughs> yeah, being able Carolina. to actually get to that. Anyway. Um, oh, sorry. Here we go. Sorry, baby. You, you got to get covered <laughs> up for a little bit. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> put her there. Put her you, there. She you go, freaking she sacrificed she him. She my friend. He's on the floor. He looks and so sad. That's exactly why we have to discuss farts later, but not. Oh my god! <laughs> this is anyways. Really, topic of dreams. This is really more this of an is, important topic. Yeah, getting shot going, all like, over the place. Anyways, yeah. okay. So I was gonna let you kind of talk first if you had some that you wanted to. I did kind of bring up. I wanted. To, I, I think the area that I kind of want to hit first is some of the ones that we currently have that we mm-hmm. are aspiring to go for. Um, talking about some that we've kind of given up over the years, mm-hmm. and then. Kind of full circle it with ones that uh, where we started, the ones we originally started with, and kind of dumped it or yeah, full full circle. I think so. Yeah. All right. Well, do you want me to start? Because you always throw that at me, and I have to start. Okay. So I mean, I can start. I'm almost like the icebreaker all the time. You're so upset about it, I can go ahead and take over. Anyway, so. They just, they hear me all the time, so I, I always know, let you go. I know, all right. So, <laughs> I, all right, I'll cut in again. No big deal. Right, yeah. Shut up. Just gosh. Anyway, so I guess uh, talking in, in in what my goals were mm-hmm. or what they are now, what they are now, I'm actually, I got a goal of retirement. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's pretty far yeah. up, but I really do. I mean, that's, I'm shooting for that, but I'm shooting for, uh, in that goal, I'm shooting to be, uh, as high as I can be in a corporation that I'm in, and not with the reason I don't have a goal of being Aren't like you, the president or you something had like said that. You said it was engineering I'm, before, yeah. So and um, but it's to be in charge of the area that I'm in right now. I'm I'm actually in a uh, shift person in charge of the area, so I'm a group leader. But there's another step above that where I could be a planner, and there's an area manager. I don't want to be area manager. That's way too much responsibility right now. But I wouldn't mind being a planner. Right. So that's a little bit money, more money when you do that. So that's actually kind of I'm a little I think everybody's always nervous about when they do get into part of their goal and they start going to and they start to think about a lot more and, and wonder where they're going to be and if they can re- assume all that responsibilities that come along with it. Cause right. you're, that's when we start part of it. And being able to put your best effort into yeah. that and kind of mindset. Yeah, and that's. So anyway, that's what my goal is. And beyond that is to retire. I mean, I'm really looking forward to retiring. And it's a more than I probably ever have before. And But I don't know if part of that goal is saving the money and having what you need to make sure when you walk out that door, you ain't looking for a paycheck every week, you know. Right. Or in my case, every couple of weeks. So being stable, being happy, and Correct. then also feeling like you got to accomplish something out of it. Yep putting in your best yeah, effort absolutely so that's where i'm at right now i mean i i there's a lot of little things i'd like to do and i guess that's the difference when you're older 
uh, on my s- side of the fence. And when you think about that, and I think about retirement, I'm going to have a lot of little goals. Mm-hmm. And that's how that's the way my life will be. It's not going to be one big goal anymore because actually I've lived my big gold and my big goals, not the ones I really wanted to start with. And that was kind of what I said age appropriate. I think that's uh, um, going more towards like the, maybe the past ones too. Talking yes, about that. exactly. Correct. Yeah. So I have a lot of little goals. Like I want to do this. It's kind of like a bucket list when you get older. Yeah. It's no longer goals. It's a bucket list. The things you want to hit before yeah, like, you can't. Before I die and I can't climb on the airplane to jump out and get dead anyway. I was going to say yeah. before your gout took over, but all right, that no, too, I just, goodness. I don't have no problem with that at all. That's yeah. only if I drink a lot of Mountain Dew. Which, and by I the love way, Mountain Dew. Oh. Do you want to explain gout to him real quick? Oh, it's just basically your joint, at your toe, and it's around the foot most of the time. It swells up almost like there's uh, arthritis in it, and it hurts. It's just like somebody putting a knife in when you walk. You can't hardly walk. And it and it'll happen even to younger guys. There's a guy at work that's only in his thirties and he has a lot of problems with gout. Right. But older people in their sixties and late fifties deal with gout a lot. And you normally got it when you drink pop and stuff like that. Yeah. So, I yeah. figured out if you can figure out what it is that causes it that that triggers it, you can take care of it. Right. That's where that word trigger should be really used. I, <laughs> oh, I watched that and it triggered me. Never mind. That's the language right there. I didn't say the word. I was close, though. But Fubber knuckle. F- wow, I like that. Yeah. Hot. Big brain. Anyways. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, wow. Flubber. Uh, I, I just hate that triggered word. But that yeah. that is what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and gout gets triggered by some kind of thing that starts the acid going in you. But I figured out mine, so I really don't. I'm very, very seldom do I have problems with it. So... For other dreams, do you have like other ones that you have that are like kind of main main goals that you want to mm-hmm. do right now, or is that kind of like your main? Are you, one? Are you talking about like the like final? Because uh, for for dreams, for being able to get, I'd like to do done. a couple of recordings. Okay. Still, and that started way from when I was really young. For like what, music, we want to get into that a little bit later. What's that? Music or yep, for okay. music, and also I'd like to start with a. I, I'm thinking really, guys, about doing a little bit more with Haja. He wants to have his own little video series. I don't, I don't just on our channel. Yeah. I don't want to change. I don't want to suffer. I can't do it alone, please, guys. Uh, but <laughs> it's I, a lot of freaking work. It's a lot of work. <laughs> but <laughs> then, I'll, then I'll hire him for my editor. <laughs> he said, no. screw you. There's enough already as it is. Right, but well, fun fact, though, he can do uh, guitar. He can do singing. He can do yeah. actually quite a bit when it comes to music. Yeah. I I actually used to be in a, like, quite a few bands. I say quite a few, probably less than 10, but that's still a lot of band for people that have never been in one. Oh, yeah. And I used to do some weddings and stuff like that. And I mean, uh, I have so many bands on my shoulder that I've been in. <laughs> Anyhow, so and he may still later on, or Maybe. the deanest of coons, Maybe could, there's a possibility he may start singing because he's practicing a lot. So if I get him behind a microphone, because we got a nice little studio set up here now, yeah, and I need to put some more stuff with it, and but it's actually set up really nice, a good set of earphones and mics, some top stuff, and it should work really, really. I know it will. So anyway, that's what I'm looking. That is one of the things I want to do after I retire. I want to throw together a song. What? Putting yourself up on a pedestal, pretty high there. No, I'm talking about the equipment. Is really I know because you're like it's just so good. It is, but that's the equipment, not me. I didn't say I. I <laughs> hey, by the way, I can sing, baby. I'm telling you right now. It's that golden For all voice. you single ladies out there oh that watch gosh. the Unknown Artist yeah. YouTube channel. <laughs> wow, that's a, a total of none. Uh, anyway. <laughs> and then everybody for my age. Just... Maybe when Faja gets going, I'll put I'll put that part of it, all of our our you know That's where Ray actually jumps in on the chat and he's just like, I'm single, Faja. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. No. <laughs> Sorry, Ray. Uh, anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, okay, now it's your turn to talk about some of your stuff. You're throwing me under the bus. I am. Um, I think, as of current, my main objective is, first off, to make a successful channel, um, no matter what that becomes, because I do such a variety of stuff. You say my channel is garbage? Poo-poo? No. You call it poo-poo? I'm saying huh? he's got dreams, too. He wants to become just a fart. 
Anyway, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. I totally destroyed what you were going. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, you're a bad, bad turd. Yeah, put that face away. He's not happy right, anymore. You shunned him in the corner. <laughs> Anyways, uh, make a successful YouTube channel. Definitely, no matter what that entails and what ends up being becoming popular on it, because we do such a variety of everything. We do. Um, I think he does. That would be <laughs> yeah. I think that would be a number one. My aspirations are a little too high sometimes, but uh, I think that would be the number one. Um, but through that, doing a whole bunch of like charity and donation stuff and actually seeing some change in communities, whether it be local or global or whatever, or just yeah. even nationwide, I think doing something like that would be really cool, kind of making our own thing and getting it kind of kick-started. Not just, um, what is it, uh, Extra Life and things like that. You know, Taking part mm -hmm. in those would be really cool, but doing something more, I think, would be really nice to see um doing music eventually at some point so you did get me on that one i do want to do that at some point for sure mm -hmm. um and and there's a very good possibility here because it's all ready to go uh, there's some stuff that i didn't tell you that's also getting ready to be made as well <coughs> i'm just saying so hint and wink wink for those of you that <coughs> watch this series you get spoilers actually you know what because if, if you guys, this is going to be my treat. If you guys actually watch this series, I'm going to spoil some stuff that we have for upcoming things. And that way you you get the little bonus for if you actually watch this series. Um, you mean from both sides? Yeah. Exclusive. Ooh. Uh, no. Um, we're going to be doing some voice acting and skit stuff here soon. I'm not going to entail too much of that, but we're going to be doing some of that. And that is going to be a blast. We got a lot of people kind of on board for that. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, there's going to be some really big music projects that are coming up that I'm I've been wanting to do for a long time now. Mm -hmm. um, that it'll be a, quite a few months away for the f one that is for sure guaranteed right now. But I'm excited. I'm really excited for that. But I would say that's probably my main ones, and maybe eventually, <laughs> I don't know, just working with some of the people that have inspired me to do the kind of stuff that I've done, I think that would be a big one. Not so much like, you know, like praising them and everything, but working with them, I think, would be a really, like, high honor and probably a dream Everybody of mine as well. Everybody has those, though. Yeah. There, there's always somebody you look up to and and you want to use as your mentor, if you want to call it that, and right. say, if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't have went the direction I went and stuff, and they inspired me and stuff. Right. And I, which brings us apart one of the, thing person i was talking about earlier we were talking about oh yeah with <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but yeah no i think i think those are probably my main ones right now am i missing anything <clears throat> that i normally talk about Ooh, making stuff which that's coming soon too oh, i've been sure. talking about that too but um that's coming real soon mm -hmm. but i think that's kind of my main stuff right now i don't think i got too much crazy more i mean i want to make eventually that's my a own. lot of stuff though right but i, mean, I want to make my like, maybe make my own series eventually at some point like a story like have an actual a story or a book or writing or or even like a television thing or animations or something like that i think doing something like that eventually that, would that'll be have really, to be really more cool. focused kind of a goal because that's very yeah you're very you know and music, generalized musical right musical oriented things i okay. know I, I think those are my main ones right now. It's very broad. I know it's all over the place, and I'm very sporadic, and that's just why we have a variety channel. But that's kind of my spectrum right now. They I seem kind of like they're a little bit older, more mature gold, so. Maybe. So I don't think it's so much mature. It's just stuff that I'm passionate about. Well, don't you think when you were younger, though, you had a little bit less, your goals were different, age-appropriate. Yeah, I see what you did there for freaking segue. segue. Thank you. Anyways, I, um, I was wondering if you'd catch it. I'm, so right now, I'm pretty proud of myself. I will say that's I am. <laughs> one thing you and I actually do really, really well, and it annoys everybody else yes, that does, does this kind of stuff. Oh. Um, no, uh, yeah, okay. I would say so because there was, and this is kind of where we can talk about some like the old goals that either we miss doing or that we are really glad yep. that we moved on from yep, as well. Yep, yep. Um, I did have a lot of older goals that involved i remember can you remember robotics. when you very first oh yeah that robotics one. was a really big one i had this huge aspiration to make my own uh 
full body controlled animatronic type of deal, which already they exist now, so it's kind of way past that point now. They but do, but still, I wanted I mean, to make like this general grievous little like robot that if you moved it would move in the same directions and patterns I, that you I have did. I hope you realize that out in the that. garage is a complete robotic Oh yeah, I know. Lego uh, set that I've you also, could do anything you wanted with it. It was kind of I cuz you did want that. <laughs> I, I wanted did at I thought like, oh man, I'd love to push in that cuz I think that's a real wide open field right now. It is. Still. I will say though on that same note, I have discovered from the one time that my buddy Cameron and I did all that oh, stuff. Oh my gosh. I hated doing it <laughs> and that's i and that's kind of what i was talking about earlier with the progression of realizing certain dreams should fade you can still do them see i wish she would have told me that before i spent about three hundred dollars on this set i don't know I would it, have assumed, hey that one we could put on ebay yeah it's never been opened <laughs> air goes that goal went down we're selling things on ebay <laughs> hint, hint, wink, wink, if you want to no don't actually look that up um uh, but no um the robotic stuff was one of those dreams where I really did love the idea of it. I still think I would like to get into it, but it's not something I aspire heavily to chase yeah, after yeah. now. It's See, something I would something like I'd to like learn. To still play with. Yeah, it's something I would like so to learn. Maybe to I'll know. keep it for me. <laughs> oh uh, one of those mini goals as I get so my pro bucket, bucket list. That programming on that is a lot more simplified than what actual programming yeah, it, is. It is, but it has a lot of the features in it that we were goofing around with with making the robot and stuff it's great for my kind of stuff because it's like a manufactured based thing what we're talking about is like, stuff like the that. uh 2000s lego robotics build kit that they used to have it we ended up cool. buying one of those yeah it was really cool. cool very simplified compared to what it actually yeah. is supposed to be though but, but it still entail like visual and effects and i mean yeah. as far as uh, uh whatever anyway yeah but i think that was definitely one um goodness designing video games for sure was one and being an animator an animator was a really big one i had for a while there but i did not have the patience for doing art uh, doing art itself is one thing but the animation like the the corporation or the um what they, do you want a lot of demands it's very high, very demand. high it's, demand you have to be very quick at it you yeah. have to i just i can't do it i love doing art I can't keep up to the speed and pace that everybody else does. You it's know, something I think that I... You, I really do think you could have, but here's part of that issue: mm -hmm. as you get a little bit older and your goals change, you realize, uh, like an animator mm -hmm. would start out and and they get quicker and quicker at it because they realize you don't have to be so perfected with and it. You can start saving certain angles and certain. This guy stuff. here, with all his perfection of his <laughs> editing and stuff. Oh wait a minute! I could see the the background doesn't look the same color as this and that. And uh, <laughs> you guys do not realize the amount of effort oh. he sticks into this channel. It's crazy, crazy. I do have to and do a shout I, out. I just want to pinch his nose once in a while. Dustin, wake up! You can't spend that. He spent some major league league time on that. He really does. Uh, it's just amazing. I do have to so, do a shout out for Ethan and Red for how much they edit and help yes, out with the channel. You as both well. do a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. You really do. And we thank you so much. We do. So I mean, I'm it's very proud of the channel and I'm proud of where you guys are all going and you guys help Dustin out tremendously. But I'm just telling you he does still put a whole lot of time in it. Mm -hmm. And this is why I have eye bags. <laughs> Anyways. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's a hereditary eye bag. Actually, it's not. I don't think it is. But anyway, I mean, yeah, I think you actually get more sleep than I do most days now. Uh, but well, anyways, lately, back yeah. to, back to your original point. Past dreams that you had, because a lot of those dreams that I had were more. It seems like it's a big generational type mm -hmm. of thing where when you're young, you have super high flying dreams that shoot yeah. all the way past the moon into well, the stars. Mine and everything. wasn't and then, that crazy though. I mean, it really wasn't. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, mine wasn't like, I want to be a fire engine or an astronaut and fly to Jupiter and ride the little round ring that goes around it five times, then I'll come home and be okay. And find a unicorn yeah. while you're in Or too. find a unicorn while I'm yeah. there and stab all the ships and make them, and whatever. Anyway... <laughs> Um, not a narwhal. <laughs> Where were you going with that? I don't know. It's just my mind stood to wonder. Anyway, <laughs> so some of mine when I was younger, yeah. uh, I think one of the very first ones I had was that I I wanted to do electronics. 
Mm. I really did. And I like would, always liked it. When, no, when I was really young, I, I was working with, uh, mom bought me a cake because she knew I liked to fool around with wiring. I was always goofing. Every once in a while, I'd plug something in that shouldn't be plugged in and you know, I'd get all the spark. And I'm lucky I didn't kill myself a lot of times. <laughs> I did a lot of stupid things. So anyway, it's just stupid. Anyway. Um, Can I, have this I had one? balls of fire come out of the side of the wall and stuff like that. And But anyway, so she bought me this little winding, wire winding thing so you can make your own motor work and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it never worked. I, I don't, you know, to this day, I can look at that and I don't know why it didn't work. I don't know if it didn't have the proper fielding wired. And, and it's a simple kit. Yeah. And I'm actually really good at this stuff as far as wiring and all that stuff. But that little kit it made me decide not to do it because <laughs> it just didn't work out. I'm like, I must be an idiot. I can't do this. And and do, I have you, to... do you think on that actual that aspect that you just said, by the way, mm -hmm. about the having one bad experience or something? Do you think those can be bad and good in certain situations? Yeah, though? yeah, I do it because oh, segue time. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I when I started doing that and yeah. and um I, I still I, I still look back at that and I think there's certain goals like that I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind doing some of those things, you yeah. know. Um but yeah, I think you gotta get to a point where some of the things things you just the energy, just like you said with the art, the energy that you would you would put into that is just that's what you look at. You say you know, I, evaluate that and then figure out well i'm not really at that place where i want to put that much of my effort and time into it and when you start to think about it you think gosh i don't know if i'd really like to do that that would probably suck you know and but and there's certain just, dreams be having fun with it anymore well I yeah mean, that and that's was part of it burnout. that's part of it yeah there's yeah. no way i would have been able to keep doing animation i love it yeah. but i can't do it for a living so music's the same way now save with me that was one of my big goals. I wanted to be in a band. I was in, like I said, quite a few of them. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things happened within the band, not un under my control, unfortunately, with the people I was with. Did some stupid things, and then we'd end up, the band would dissolve and stuff. But I really liked that. But as I started getting better at it and realizing we had a lot of gigs to do and everything, I, that it was taking a lot of time and... I wasn't getting all all the sleep I wanted, everything, and then people want, 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 want from it. And yeah. I thought, well, why? I would love to do it. And I love to do my music, but in the music world, in the real music world, the demand on somebody that does music is super high. Everybody yeah. wants it if you get really good, if you are good, and and then it just pulls on you. And there's a lot that happens in your life because you are pulled this way and that. Interviews, you know, actual concerts, going from the United States across seas, you know, just, and I just thought, well, do I really want that? Do I want a life where I can't walk down the street someday and just relax and without a thousand fans running against you and saying, ooh, woo? So, and I really felt like I was good enough to do that, but I didn't really, you know, and we'll do some stuff. We talked about that musically. Yeah. So you'll be able to see that I can. Because uh, they're all like, Doubt? No, they actually probably yeah. believe. No, you. a lot Anytime of people I do say that. anything like that, I mm -hmm. always get doubt. When the, when you say stuff, everybody's just like, "Oh, that's so cool." I'm just yeah. like, "You." Frickers. That's because I'm old fart. Uh, anyway, so they believe it's more possible. Yeah, there's that right. for both sides thing. But anyway, yeah. So I kind of gave up on that one, but that one, and but it was more of a, a realization. Of, do I want to deal with all that stuff that comes along with it? Yeah. And and, uh, and like you said, it's a matter of would I be happy after that point. And then just finally realized it was out of way out of what I wanted to actually have happen. Even though I'd love to it do the music. It was a creative out, output for you, but you yeah. didn't want it to turn into something that was more demanding than right. it was enjoyable. Exactly. Yeah. And it may not have done it. I don't know. I think I got a pretty good voice to do that if I really wanted to, but um, I just didn't want to deal with that. So that, right. that was a big goal. That was a real big goal. Um, I'd still like to be in like the back part of a band and just uh, perform and sing. You always want to be the front man. Yeah, I didn't, don't too much to responsibility. Yeah, just <laughs> let me harmonize and I'll be fine. Anyway, so yeah, so that's part of the goal to oh change your mind. Yeah, you know, and you write about all the work with other stuff, and then just I think when you start doing doing the dream and doing the goal, 
then you find out if you really want it and you really like it. And see, I think that's something because like even what you were talking about with the bands and becoming possibly famous and stuff with it, I think that's something that I've definitely had to realize with the channel too is because and I know probably it's going to be an unpopular opinion coming out right now, but I know a lot of the times when we make stuff, most of the times now, I start hitting some more of the creative sides and start throwing kind of some new stuff out there, kind of like this podcast, right? Mm-hmm. We start throwing some new stuff out, and it's more my aspect of areas that I enjoy and that it's more me right now, but I know the gaming stuff is kind of how we got here, right? Correct. And, I, it, you know, when I started out, I was just like, oh, I'd be content doing the gaming stuff and just streaming all the time because it was what I was at the time. And but you started becoming, losing that a lot. Oh, yeah. Becoming famous or happy or having all the people love all the stuff that we were doing. Yeah, it was awesome at the time, but it's not it anymore. Like doing the skits and stuff that we still do. Sure, I love doing those. But gaming competitively or gaming and doing whatever, not really. Most of the times when we do the streams now, I love chatting with everybody and chat yeah. and hanging out with friends more than I do playing the games because it's it's tiresome, right? And it's not because, per se, the games are bad or anything like that. It's just... Oh, you like your games. I, oh, know. I do. There's no do. there's no creative output anymore, though. Like, our skits and stuff are still fun, but... Mm. I don't know. Just trying... Like, doing this stuff and then, like, some of the things that we referenced earlier, right? Mm-hmm. Those are things that are coming out. And I know they're more short-term dreams for right now. The overall dream is to have this become successful, right? Right. That's but, the overall dream. But right. the short-term dreams are ones that I want to hit along the way right now. And I think that having it switch more to that creative side is what it's it's kind of become like my yeah it's become more realistic on that sense Mm -hmm. right because we've had the art stuff before we had some creative stuff before but Mm -hmm. it was mostly all gaming because that's all we could really do at the time while i was still learning and stuff but now that i have learned and i've taught other people and we have our group now hitting those aspects i don't know if people are going to enjoy it i guess they can yell at me and tell me yes or no but I don't know. It's it's interesting now because it's it's a weird place right now where I'm not totally sure on how I got to treat it because I want to still have the creative side, but I also still want to be appeasing to the audience and such. So the dream is yeah. kind of shifting between that balance of realism. Yeah, because you and, can't leave your, your base is your audience. Yeah, and so that's what they expect to... is my uh, – or what you guys expect generally is like my crazy, goofy, over-the-top right. kind of stuff, but then there's – the real aspects too that I don't share a lot because I know that's not always me. But then this is kind of like our realistic aspect in the vlogs and stuff. So that's, and it feels good, you know, doing this kind of stuff. And that's kind of what the dreams become is having a balance of everything, I think. And so, so it's I shifting. Think, like, uh, we had Carolina. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was, uh, we did a, or he did a, a uh, charity event with her and it went really good and she, when oh, she and was starting do. to talk and stuff if you guys go back and you look at that video which i did make a shorter version don't watch the whole stream the whole okay. stream is a mess <laughs> it is but yeah just use first charity stream it went pretty decent <laughs> yeah. but anyhow uh she was explaining how she started heading in one direction and her goal kind of changed too mm-hmm. and and she got to do what she wanted which was her eventual full goal but it was a little bit different when she first started. And I think that's what happened. We kind of mature after a while. And, and that's what I meant by a, a younger version of our goal or, you know, our, you know, of, of how we see our goal and everything. And, yeah. you know, on your side of it, creative crew, your your actual channel, that's what you guys are about. Yeah, no, artist. It's all, yeah, I know an artist, but it's all about being creative and whatever it be in music art and gaming aspect and gaming's gaming and that's why you're feeling that is that you don't feel the creativeness of it unless you were making a game i mean the skits but, and stuff they're fun it's just a yeah, lot of times but, also there's a lot of real aspect and see this is things that a lot of people don't see a lot of the times because they just when they go to a channel they expect a lot of stuff mm-hmm. a lot of the time right and it's hard to always do that because even per se i'm in a great mood all the time and i'm always trying to pop out like positive and happy energy and being goofy and stuff it's like not that always in a great mood <clears throat> anyways um and <laughs> but uh i and and just the opposite i'm always in a great mood there's this great acronym it's called bs and that's what's coming <laughs> out of your mouth right now anyways uh Here go my friend yeah so 
could say this is uh this is his persona right now. Anyways, um whew, but uh <laughs> gosh. Uh what was I even freaking saying? I don't now? know, but that was funny though. That's a, um you're so full of anyway, anyway. Yeah, that's exactly what I was trying to say. Uh no, okay. So having the happy and positive energy and everything, right? Though, and always trying to pop that out. And then, but the people that we work with and the people that are the friends that are doing the skits and stuff with us, they can't always do that. And I mean, you aren't right. always in the mood. Yesterday, I was trying to do the podcast with you, and you're like, it ain't happening yeah, today, I Chief. I was so tired. So, well, it, even and, today, you know, honestly, yeah. I mean, there's times we're going to, we're going to, we do this, and it looks like we're always really hyped up. I, I, let's be honest. I mean, I'm going to be honest. There's time we're like, oh my God. We want to do it. We love doing this. Yeah. We really do. But there's times you just don't feel like it. I'm gonna be honest. Know? Right before we did this, I'm I was dead. I was out of energy. Yeah. That's why I grabbed this old thing of G Fuel. Oh, I'm just like G Fuel does it again. I chugged da, 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 half da, da, da. of it, just, which uh, he's been so selfish with. They're sitting right I, there. Oh, the last time I got in his G Fuel, folks. Let me tell you right now, the boy came down on Daddy. I came down Baja on got, you. Oh my! I God. rained you down on you. You realize how much this costs? Oh my! I I gave away a little package to a friend because I'm trying to inspire other people to have G Fuel. See, here's and, the thing about that. No, no, you no, know no. how much one of those packages costs. I don't care. I want to get them involved because uh, they I, were gifted. I first off, for took you. Them away from them. Second off. Because we don't even have a subscription or a sponsorship yet. So even if we did I, do that, I we get nothing that. out of this. I know, but, you know, the thing was, it is good stuff. And that's, yeah. you know, that's why, yeah. Okay, anyway. Use promo code The Unknown Artist. Yes. Uh, <laughs> maybe soon, actually. You should, we'll, we'll really. Find out. Yeah. We'll find out. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> well, anyway, so. I so did you apply had that, for it. And that's, that's true. Yeah. We're both not perfectly, I mean, you, you never... Any goal you do, let's face it, there's times I go to work, even though, you know, I told you what my older goal is, is to advance, and there's time I'm like, what the heck do I got an idea like that for, you yeah. know? And see, I think that's a really prominent point, though, is getting to your dreams. It's not always going to be a cakewalk getting there, mm -hmm. and you're not always going to love doing it. And and see, that's the point of, like, for example, what I said with the channel evolving I'm is because... My reading glasses, because that thing's so far away. <laughs> But so, that's my point, though. Is though I am, I can tell real well now. We're quitting time, no. Well, but I'm such a fuckboy. Why do we give up? Okay. This is why we get off topic and I lose my train of freaking thought. I'm actually reading our Gosh, thoughts, okay? dang. Okay. But my point being, <laughs> if I even freaking remember now. <sighs> about being happy and coming in. And doing the podcast, it's, it's not always going to be easy. Right. It's, it's not always going to be easy. Sometimes you got to just push through and deal with it, regardless of whatever you want. And I've had, I know, for example, and this is just an example because I know people have yelled at me for not saying them or whatever before. But prime example, I know Ethan yells at me a lot when I'm being dumb about stuff, and I'll yell at him when he's being dumb about stuff. We we stay on each That's other good. pretty well about that, That's even if good. we are absolutely ticked off with each other that day. Like, I mean, to the point, and I mean, he knows sometimes when I'm on edge and when I'm pretty much ready to strangle him, but mm -hmm. he still tries to keep me on goal and I'll try to keep him on goal when he's kind of getting good. too far. You need yeah. that. You need that so, support behind you. Oh, I know. And he knows too. Yeah. And that's why he does it. And I appreciate him immensely. But that's mm -hmm. the point though, is it's not always going to be easy. Nope. And it's having that support's awesome. And having the dream is still good and to not give up on it is the point because getting to that point is going to suck you know regardless if you're having good times or bad times no matter what there's going to be great parts and there's going to be times that just suck don't lose the dream though is the overall point absolutely so uh, i brought up carolina because carolina, carolina she was say, saying it took her almost 10 10 to 12 years i think it was for her to actually get where she wanted her dream that's a long time for that's somebody. It's crazy. She's done acting, yeah. like not just voice acting. Yep. She's done actual acting. She's yep. doing a whole bunch of crazy physical stuff mm -hmm. now. She's a trainer, I believe. Yeah. And she is built. Yeah. <laughs> she could she could probably crunch me up yeah. <laughs> easy. But, but my point is. Oh, my gosh. Uh, just like we said, getting to that dream, it, yeah. you're going to run into a lot of things. So what keeps us focused on that dream and, and not gi and not giving it up. Yeah, give it gives us. Uh, in, in other words, it, <laughs> you boy, you, there's a scripture in the Bible that says that people without a dream, without a goal, perish. 
and, and, that I, and I don't physical, usually bring mental, up the emotional. Bible and stuff, but I said that only for this reason. Mm. It, it's so true. If you don't have something that pushes you forward, that drives you, something you got to get to, a focus point or something, a goal in life, then you're going to be pretty much a sit on the couch, not do a damn thing with your life, nothing, you yeah. know. So I I kind of really wished really hard that everybody would realize that that's very important. I mean, this whole topic is about goals and setting goals right. and having goals. You know, sometimes it's just dreams as a kid. Yeah. But as you get older, they're goals. They're stuff you deal with. And like you said, you can't give up. And I think that's something interesting, too, is there's a lot of people that just know what they want right off the bat from the beginning. And then there's sure. people like me that I – I can't decide. I can't freaking decide on anything. Okay, I'm sorry I did that to you because that. That's what? A, I was 22 getting out of the Marine Corps, actually 24, I think. Mm. And I come back. I didn't know what the heck I still wanted. Yeah. And I feel like that came from me partly. And it really don't. Everybody has it, but I really. I, I think st- our I grew in our desire is just way too high for everything. <laughs> just we 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 want to do way too much, but. I don't know. But like you were saying with the push, though, I mean, there's people that can't always figure out what they want. And it'll take you guys. Like, for me, I didn't, for a little while there, even doing the channel stuff, there was a time, and I, I know you guys probably know exactly what time I'm talking about, but there was a time where I didn't have a goal at all for the channel. I was just kind of doing it, and I didn't really. It started to really hurt the channel, didn't it? Yeah. But figuring it back out, rekindling that flame and figuring out what I want to do with it, even, you know, regardless if people disliked it or not, because it's something I needed to do. And I appreciate and love you guys, but it's something that I still needed to change for my betterment and for actually bringing traction back to everything. But having that passion, I think, is something obviously necessary, 100%. But it's, it's... I guess, I mean, it's different for everybody, right? Mm. So, like, on my aspect, I think I'm I'm not the type of person that can really see super far ahead in the the future when it comes to goal orientation, right? It's stuff that I want to do, like, right now. I want to do as much as I can, right? And it's really hard for me to think, oh, yeah, like, 10, 20 years from now, I'm going to have a whole family and be living uh, in a house and have my own car and my own problems or whatever, right? It's a lot harder for me to see something like that, whereas I can do something right now and make somebody happy. And that's kind of what makes me inspired is being able to help people. Because obviously, if I was doing YouTube for money, it surely wouldn't be this kind of stuff that mm-hmm. we would be doing because this isn't as popular as like doing the right, the right. stereotypical stuff. So I think for me, it's more so along the lines of having a creative out- output that that's makes me feel what good. I was gonna say. And then the helping people aspect whether it be an emotional Mm -hmm. whether it be in person type of help it or just having something that somebody can relate to or kind of escape away from that's i think what pushes me right now and like friends and Mm -hmm. things like that too because sometimes i get really off task but having that extra push and having somebody that believes in me and stuff is something that helps out a lot because even when you know i'm not always the best in everything by far Mm -hmm. (laughs) and a lot of things by far but being told that that. you're doing oh yeah i know but being told that you are good in something or that you have something that you uh can be pushed to be better Mm -hmm. at sure is something that kind of picks you up and kicks off the dust i think you know so as far as what you were saying i that long-term goal that you're looking for Mm -hmm. see there's a difference in between somebody uh like me and what you're trying to accomplish your mind's like a long-term goal type thing your goals are more creative, mm. and and that's what makes a big difference in, in how we do things and how we view things. And yours is more like on the moment and it's very what sporadic. drives you, and, it's, and yeah. it feels very sporadic. But it still does lead to the same thing, that your, your long-term goal, mm. but it's just broke up a lot more because it is a creative type of goal that you got in your mind. So, right. yeah, that does change things and how you approach it and how you do it, then it's not going to be like mine. Mine's like, you know, I got to just constantly think about all the things that are happening all the time. I mean, you do too, right. but I, mine's always looking to the end of that goal, to the end. There is an end to the goal. Yours could, that's the great thing about being creative. You can keep going further and, and further, and it gets bigger and it gets bigger, and 
and your goal, there really is no because no of what end it is. To it. There's and no that's, end to it. I think that's why I'm that's short, a fantastic feeling. That's why I'm short term. I think on most of my goals, though, is because there is no end to it, right? There, I mean, there's steps no. along the way, but right. there's, and I don't. But it gets big. It can get yeah. much, much bigger than you, and it it may. It, it will feel like you're out of control, but it needs to feel that way. It needs to be, because that's the part of being creative. It I, needs to go crazy. I know? think on that same aspect, it kind of, you know, it is a feels good type of situation, mm -hmm. but I think it also freaks me out a little sometimes oh, sure. too, because yeah. what if I don't get it all done? You know, all yep. the stuff that I want to get done, you know? So it's that same type of aspect. But switching back to yours though, mm -hmm. for your things that kind of motivate you to chase either short-term goals or the long-term goals, whether it be the, like the music stuff, because I know that you said you still want to do that, or, or the I video do. series, yeah. or even retirement. What are some of the things that kind of push you to get to there, you know? Uh, you know what? I, it's not so much about attaining something anymore as far as the drive of uh, being number one at something. I gave that up a long time ago because... I see, you see so many people in those positions of whatever it is you're thinking and the goals that you got because nothing's new under the sun. Everybody's always doing something that somebody's already done before. Uh, there's very, very, I mean, it, uh, there's always some way it connects to something that something's already been done. So I will say the Internet wasn't something that came from something else. No, though. no, it wasn't. But, I mean, you could, there's still creative things. I mean, things get into like that. Yeah, it ain't what I mean. But basically, it still started from TV, mo movies, and the connection out between connect people. Yeah, that's connection yeah. between people. So anyhow, I, I guess on, on mine, I just learned I don't have to be number one at any of those goals, but I got to be, I would like to still, my goal in life is to be keep, become better than what I am. Mm -hmm. That's my. That's what drives me. I want to be a better boss. I want to be better at helping the company grow i want to be part of that i want to be part of this channel that might sound songs crazy to you or to everybody else but i love being part of this channel and doing this little from both sides because it's something bigger than me mm. and i like being part of something that's bigger than me it's not like me talking about my music projects <laughs> yeah but, but that's what it is i want to be something bigger than me it can't be about me and i think if it's all about you you're going to lose track of your goal I mean, it, yeah, ultimately it comes back to you. But if it's a more than if it's about more than just you, it's easier to keep that goal focused and go with it. So, right. Yeah. So that's probably how I look at it. So, what about you? I mean, uh, I already said all mine uh, okay. things that kind of push me. But even for music, is that still that same kind of concept? Music and the. Uh, <laughs> I know Music for the videos, just, it's just it's, something you'll enjoy yeah, it's doing. It's just something I really, really, I love to sing, and I love to play the guitar, and I don't do it near as some of the people. I mean, not not even a fraction of what people do, the real good players and stuff like that. I mean, even the mediocre players. I don't play that way. I just play to fill in things and I'm more like a company type of thing. But I love to sing, and I think I still do a pretty good job. The problem is I'm getting older, so I things in my body don't work that way like your voice starts to crack and all kinds of stuff if you ever notice poor people that try to sing things they're just like "Ooh, he sucks it's because age does shit to you you know your body so uh Wait, poor pe you're saying poor people isn't like sad like is in like the yeah it's sad not like in rich or poor yeah okay way. i just I'm want to clarify saying. so they know because yeah, no, that no. sounded like i knew what you meant but i wanted them to know because it right. could have been taken bad no no, no. Okay. Well, I was poor. I was rated right poor as far mm -hmm. as that goes on. We already talked about that in other podcasts. Ooh. Sorry. And if you had listened to Check out to the playlist. It, yeah, there's like... <laughs> there is a playlist. This will be like number nine, I think, now. I was looking at I'm pretty at sure, it. yeah. Yeah, and I think that's really cool. We got nine behind us. That's awesome. I can't wait until we say... One? We got a hundred. <sighs> It'll happen. It'll happen. It'll happen. Yeah, we'll probably be making four a day. As it starts to really light on fire, it's this like channels on fire. Please, oh. <laughs> I freaking hate that song. I do too. I'm sorry, but I freaking it hate just that happened song. to come out. <laughs> As no premise to it about being about women, about uh, girls, or anything. No, I just yeah. hate the song. I, I, I don't know. It's I, just it's the tune of it. Some songs it's, do not get you right. No, no I mean that doesn't. 
Yo, you want to you want to freaking talk about like um That's not it or not. Yeah, that. I guess. That's, no. Greatest yeah. showman, that's all I'm going to say. Go watch yeah, movie. That's a good if show. you want something okay. about women and people and yeah. diversity, go watch that. You'll understand what I mean. Right. That's something I would rather prefer than that right. song. I guess we need to wind down this now because I got to probably watch my time. Yeah, you're uh <laughs> Yeah, I cooking it, it a little bit. I got to go on. Um uh, but anyways, all right. Um, let us know about some of your guys' dreams, uh, maybe some dreams that you guys let go, uh, ones yeah. that you maybe regret like letting go, ones that you ended up developing off of others. Tell us what, you know, you guys have went through and some of the changes that you had. Yeah. Um, and what keeps you inspired and passionate? That would be, I think, and, some and of the best ones. And if there's ones that you really, really know that you want and you're, you're solid on them now, mm -hmm. you can't give up on those. You got to keep going and going because... Uh, you got to find people behind you that push you. Yes. You made that a good support group. Yeah. You've got to have people. And they may not be perfect all the time, but if they're there and they're pushing you and supporting you, man, hold on to that because that's what helps you get to where you want to go. 100%. So um, if you guys do want to join in on any uh, music projects or uh, some voice acting stuff, get a hold of me, DM me, whether it be on Twitter, Insta, or Discord, uh, and we can talk about it because we got some upcoming projects and things that I would like some assistance on. Uh, aside from that, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, afternoon. Do you have any final comment for them? Yeah. I think that I'm going to start a bucket list for my new goals. We got to make you – actually, you have a Discord now. Now we got to get you like a Twitter or something yeah. like that, and you got to start making daily posts or something like, about that. Something like that, That would yeah. be funny. But we can figure it out. Yep. But anyways, uh, stay positive, stay creative, um, and love you all. Peace off. Awesome. Peace Yeet. out. <laughs> Wait. <that ain't> awesome. <laughs> no, you got to do the little dance with it. The now we're just cringy. All right, we're done. <laughs> Did you There's guys? A, did you guys have like an actual theme for your like generation? Yeah, or your farts, age? farts. We let lots of farts. I wanted to. Just, that's one of these days we wanted to. <laughs> I want to talk about how farts start and everything. Not tonight, no. But I think I think that's pretty funny because a boomer would talk about stuff like that and laugh and everything. I meant like this music is in like I, a song. <laughs> I know you were, but no. I just thought, yeah, boomers. The and... generational sound. Because he he made flatulence. a comment the other day. I decided ah. to go with a, a friend. To uh, uh, it's a girlfriend. <laughs> anyway, and to a um, I said that for Red and Ray. Okay. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, uh, little history there. Red and Ray tend to flirt with Faja or get really excited when he's he, around. Yes, they do. So anyhow, I went to a, a camper show, a trailer okay. camper show, and I because we wanted to look at because I picked up one not too long ago. Uh, 29 footer really you can nice tell he one. was a true boomer because he complained about all of his joints afterwards from stepping up on the uh oh, oh the... my gosh when <laughs> okay what happened is there's about 150 200 of those campers so you walk all through the show and mm -hmm. you're stepping in and out of campers and look at them and some of them have three or four or five steps to get in because the way how tall they are you know right setting in on the, with the tires and everything Time I was done, my my leg actually started cramping up the next night, and holy crap, I had to wrap it and everything. So yeah, it's a boomer thing, I guess. But anyway, so while I was there, I found some guy that was making the balloon animals and stuff, and he made us a Yoda, a baby Yoda. Baby Yoda's been getting very sickly lately, though. We didn't put like a little rag around him. We should have put like his little cloth rag. Oh my like, gosh! We tan, didn't think about that. That would have been little cute. tan rag. His little outfit that he has in the in the series. I almost said movie. We, we think that the cat got a hold of one of his ears, though. It looks pretty sad. It's his battle oh, wound. He fought a fat cat very well. Yeah. Anyway. But so while we're there, I seen I, I was going to all the different people that you know vendors and stuff, and I found the bag. The Zoomer bag. That I'm telling you, I we had been talking about boomers and zoomers, and he was a zoomer. So I seen that, and it's the name of a company. So whoever the company is, you're gonna owe us on this one. Zoomers RVO. Oh, that's sponsored. there you go. There's a sponsor. That's right. <laughs> so you owe us. <laughs> but zoomers was so cool. So I had to bring it home. We cracked up with because I had Yoda and I had you know 
I like his KD little green onion nose yeah. that he has the right nose now. nose is bigger than that when we first brought him home. Anyway, so. I actually took pictures of it. They were on Did Instagram. You? Yeah. Okay, I probably should actually cool. post him now because now he's. He actually looks freaking more like a real. Yeah. Baby Yoda now. We should wrap him up though in his little blankie or whatever it is now. And he probably looked the best. That is. Poor. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>